man I've ever met. Well, I'll be sure to bear that in mind. Hearing her voice, what she was saying made me happy and sick and guilty all at once. Worst of all, I recognized the words. The phone call from her. It had been a cut-up of this. Just a recording. So, obviously I was already here and did this. Um, I realized that there was a trophy for listening to all of Hartman's tapes that I did not get. And uh, it turns out that you could just keep playing this and I guess there's more tapes to it. So this is, you know, after the fact. But I wanted to hear what the tapes had to say, so I came back to play Earl this. Earl Blaine's case is interesting. He was completely blocked, and frankly, I was about to discard him as useless. However, once Wake arrived and started writing, something changed in Rudolph. He's producing extraordinary work, increasingly dark pieces. Unfortunately, he doesn't respond to direction at all. And it's my belief that he's not so much a creator as an... Illustrator, perhaps. A recorder of sorts. I hadn't considered the existence of such a role before, let alone its implications, but the paintings he has produced are informative. At least he's easily controlled and useful. I wish I could say the same about Wake. It's frustrating that the best subjects are always so damn difficult to deal with. I'm buying that. I was tailing Wheeler, and this is the only place he could have gone. That means Wake is probably there too! Agent Nightingale, this is private property and I will not allow you to disturb my patients. Yeah? I can get a warrant. How are your fragile little patients like that? <laughs> oh, I'm thoroughly intimidated by your mighty authority now, Agent. Listen, you smug snob. How would you like it if I busted through this gate and knocked you around a little? Agent Nightingale, first of all, I'm recording this conversation, so you might want to watch what you say. Secondly, you're not dealing with a hick now. I know the law, and if you can get a judge to grant a warrant, I'll be glad to cooperate. But you won't get one. Be advised that any further communications with me are to be made through my lawyer. I don't believe this. Good day, Agent. Yeah. Yeah? Oh, was that really it? I feel like I didn't get much from that. Besides what I, like, kind of piece together from the other information I already learned. I guess the uh, the talk about the art man was a bit informative, but Nightingale being here didn't really accomplish much. So, I mean, uh, I just wanted to come back because I was like, oh, there's an episode select that I could do and it wouldn't be that hard to come back, although I still would have had to go through all of the stuff. But, uh, you know, glad to see you. We need we can to just get like to slide office. straight into the it's next right part easily. Next door. You okay? Yeah. I mean, no. The cops found me a Rose's trailer, but they didn't hassle me too much. I'm obviously a victim in this, and I demanded to be treated as such, or else I'd sue their asses. Speaking of asses, that Fed gave me a real hard time, but I had no clue where you were. That guy's crazy, Al. But he let me go, and then I get a call from Hartman, that son of a bitch, who tells me you're here, and I should come pick you up, but when I got here, two goons clobbered me and stuck me in there. What's... what's with the cutout? I stole it from the diner to piss off Rose after what she did to us. That'll teach her. Yeah, that's a harsh punishment. Come on, pal, we gotta get going. I feel bad for Rose, is what I said last time. And now we just, like cleanly just transition into me playing the level normally. I feel good that we have Barry with us. And a revolver. These were all the pages I had on me. And more. More pages? Is that where all the ones I'm missing are? Alan, please. You're sliding back into the- Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the- Just <laughs> shoot him for real. Don't even oh, play this game. Well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea. Hartman, what... shut up. Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just go. Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful. With your ability and mine.
that smirk. And I don't know about that smirk, Alan. I had to find a way out. Yeah, but I got like, oh, like one more. Hartman followed the fall of Alan Wake with his binoculars. When the rider hit the water, he ordered Jack to take the boat to him. The spot was easy to see in the dark, even with all the extra lights in the boat. The flare floated and kept burning even in the water. Jack turned the radio louder as the engine sputtered. The music was rough and clanking, something the Anderson brothers would no doubt have enjoyed. But Hartman chose to ignore it. Wake was finally within his reach. So like, what? Did you want to like sell the manuscripts? Like, oh boy, get a, uh, uh, Brian Wilson, uh, Dr. Landon situation going on? I don't have a flashlight. Huh. Ah! Ah! <laughs> hmm. Maybe I shouldn't go that way. Oh. Oh no. I shouldn't have been hanging out with the darkness. Okay. I needed light to get the possessed bookshelves out of my way. Bruda Bear, what are you doing? Focus. At least the owl wasn't trying to kill me. The darkness! Ah! You know, I thought the uh, light would have been more effective. Going this way. What happened to the Nightingale game? Oh, hello. Do I have to use the flare? I don't think there's much else I can do. Ow! <laughs> Goodbye, Buddha Bears. I'll miss you. Now's not really the time, but... I can't listen because the music's dumping. Does it subtitle? Oh, this isn't great. Can I like... I think we can change the audio settings. Music all the way down. Was it the effects? Tonight. Thanks for the ride, Mark. I'm so glad to be leaving this place. You have no idea. What, Night Springs? Come on, Linda. Relax. It's not that bad. Hey, what's that up ahead? Oh, God. There's someone in the road. I think there's been an accident. Are you all right? Oh no, Linda! Oh no! It was me on the road! I... Wait! Tell him to watch out for the truck! Watch out for the truck! My... My God! Mark? So glad to be leaving this place. What, Night Springs? Come on, Linda, relax. It's not that bad. Hey, what's that up ahead? Oh, God. 
There's someone in the road. I think there's been an accident. Are you all right? Oh no, Linda! Oh no! It was me on the road! I... Wait! Tell him to watch out for the truck! Watch out for the truck! My... My God! Mark? And there you have it. A vicious cycle, brutally punctuated by the blast of an air horn and screaming metal. Many roads are dangerous, but none more so than the one that leads away from the air. I'm pretty sure these used to have these had subtitles before. Also, again, the uh, quantum suicide was the best one. Parlor tricks, smoke and mirrors, but for some, magic is more than that. It's a way of working the secret machinery of reality itself, and more than one member of that eldritch. Is this plane again? Can be found in Night Springs. Tonight's episode, What's in a Name? Is that a different one? We find an old man standing on an old rusting derelict bridge, leaning his bony frame against the cold steel. And though he looks idle, he is hard at work. His young apprentice attends to him, as good apprentices do. Yes, yes. Coming along nicely, don't you think, boy? Yes, Magus. Sir, we've been getting some complaints. Are you defacing the bridge? Oh. No, I wouldn't do that. Sir, I can see the screwdriver in your hand and the scratches on the steel beams. You've been spotted doing this all over town. Yes. I have been very busy, but I'm no vandal officer. Exactly. What are you up to, sir? He's writing his name on the town. The youngster is correct. I'm writing my name, my whole name, the entire and complete description of my soul on the town. I'm almost done. Yeah? Well, all I see is an old man tagging public property. Oh, I should bow down to the wisdom of your years? Words have power, young man. Names and titles especially. Uh-huh. And uh, what's your name supposed to be? <laughs> Tell him, boy. Tell him while I finish the carving. Officer, it's... it's... Say my name, boy. Say it. It's Night Springs, officer. But isn't that... I mean, that's the name of the town, isn't it? Yes, it is from now on. Wait, wait where'd he go? Hey, where is he? Oh, officer. You know where he is and what he is, don't you? I think you should get in your car and drive away. And remember which town you're serving. Yeah, I guess I'll leave. Your will be done, Magus. I mean, the concept of that was a bit better. There are too many little towns to count, all of them with some little magic of their own. But some towns have more personality than others, and none more so than Night Springs. I think that's it now. Well, like, it kind of sucked that, like, audio was weird and no subtitles. Let's just get that music thumping again. It might have been the effects volume, but... Oh! Scary, the darkness is coming! We gotta get out of here! Also, like, there was a manuscript page. <laughs> I knew he was no creator. He had no ambitions on that front. And he certainly didn't want to end up like every artist he had worked with here damaged in ways that were hard to describe, or worse. It was enough for Hartman to maintain creative control and provide direction, to be a producer. That was what most of these people were in need of anyway. Of course, suitable subjects were few and far in between. So yeah, like a Brian Wilson shit going on here. He took control of the situation. I think it was Dr. Landon was his name. Basically, it, like, try to isolate the artists and then just have them, like, sign over everything. So, I, that's why he would, I guess, hate it the gamer, because it's, he can't really do much with him, right? Like, he can't take advantage of that situation. The 
I mean, you could probably have tried to take advantage of the heavy metal guys, except for the fact that they had dementia. But I'm sure he was selling the paintings. That's why he liked them so much. And, like, I guess he was gonna just sell Alan's manuscripts. Yeah, Harmon. I guess Alan was right to like that Hartman died. I guess I'm gonna just wait for this to happen. Get me out of here. Ow! It worked! I broke the door! I didn't think it would kill me. Get me out of here again. So then, like, I guess everything with him and Ma didn't even really have anything. To, well, I mean, like, I, I don't know, man. I'm sure he had to have talked to Ma, and Ma was like, yeah, there are actually weird shadow things happening. Nailed it. I, I I know you're here. I'm gonna walk around a little bit. So like, did Hartman just say like, yeah, you know the shadow things are real, and that might be a bit scary, but I really want to sell these manuscripts. I guess greed will do that to someone. Ow, I'm over here. I probably have to go that way. Found the car, but the gate's locked. You're gonna have to go through the hedge maze over there. Great, Barry. I don't have a light. Take this, Al. Thank you. Oh, it's a small flashlight. House, Look out. <laughs> I've heard of Monster House, but this is ridiculous. Oh, this would have been locked too, so I had no choice but to get the light. I was kind of wondering if there was a way I could. See ya. It does look bad. Okay. Time to escape Monster House. Am I going to have to fight the whole house? That'd be pretty rad. Kind of crazy that they gave me a gun when I had no reason to use one until probably this point. They're always moving, always evil. time for you to be amazed. Okay, I wasn't sure if I finished you with the light. I couldn't quite tell. I'm sure if I'm going to be missing anything, it's going to be in this hedge maze. <gasps> the manuscript. I stared at the Viking paraphernalia that littered the area, surrounding an unlikely centerpiece. A full-side stage complete with an impressive sound system with all the trimmings, including a drag. Let's go. It took a special kind of crazy to build something like this in a remote field. When the sky split open with a deafening boom and the music started blasting, it felt strangely appropriate. Yo, I'm hyped for that. All right, let me find that other dead end. Also, the uh, clouds are going nuts, so I feel like these guys are going to keep spawning in. Maybe not. I mean, it's a very 
hard place to like escape enemies if I run out of They're always coming for me. Dead end. They're coming for me? He was right. I didn't believe him. They're always coming for me. Maybe backing myself into a corner wasn't a good idea. I didn't want to waste more flares, but, uh... Things started to go not so well. I think that's progress, because that's light, and this is back where I went before. Yeah, let's go. I knew dead ends would be worth it. Hartman hurried down the corridor. He had disliked leaving Wake when he was surely at his most susceptible to therapy. But this was not an ordinary storm. Wake had been riding, and he had woken something up in the depths of the lake. Now, it was coming for him. Hartman had naturally prepared for a situation like this. The idiot brothers would keep Wake distracted while Hartman double-checked everything, just to be sure. Idiot brothers is rude. What, uh, what are you double-checking, though? I don't know, I would assume Hartman's dead, but he probably will show up again. Uh, I'm curious as to what he was getting... Oh, we're out of the maze. Nice. And maybe he was just saying getting the power ready, which didn't work out very well for him. Also, there's a lot of birds over there. They're like, the farther we get away from the lodge, the less I feel like we're gonna really see Hartman again. He could just be dead for realsies. Is that the gamer? Oh, that's, uh, muscles. Birds. Be rude. The birds can stop. Birds are actively killing me. I am dying. I didn't realize the birds would be so powerful. They dispersed. I probably should have dealt with them sooner because waiting till later made me waste a lot of things. Anyways, I told you muscles wasn't too difficult. He uh would have been without the flare gun. I think it was right of me to just use it immediately there. Although I wish...
What was that? What? What is this? Well, it would have been a mistake to try to escape the muscles. I'm gonna just take it a little bit easy. Let this guy make his way towards me slowly. Look at him, he doesn't feel like following. Oh no, he's following me. He's too powerful. I'm kinda wasting a lot of bullets. I feel like it's fine for me to be a bit fast and loose with my items. Except maybe the flare gun. I think the flare gun I really should save for boss encounters. Like the big man. Oh! Okay, so the thing is, I can totally go back and get what I missed, so I'm going to do that. Mott knew that Wake was smarter than him. Wake had more money, a beautiful wife, everything. And Hartman said Wake was important. That made him better than Mott. But Mott was calling the shots now. He'd expected Wake to whimper and grovel, but instead, he seemed willing to fight. Mott knew he'd gotten under Wake's skin, if only Mott actually had his wife. The thought made him shiver. This is not my beautiful wife. All right, I'm going back. Where wherever that manuscript is, it has to be. It could still be in the hedge maze, or just before. Anywhere between that. So I got the old god one in the hedge mage itself. And the good thing is I am able to go back in here. Oh no. The maze, it closed in on me. I also think because we went so far that the uh, triggers for things spawning is probably gone. The thing is, with its placement, it has to be, I would assume it has to be, like, very apparent and something that I probably should not have missed. So I'm pretty sure this one right here was the dragon. I keep hearing noises. I don't know if I'm, like, stepping on something. I know one of the dead ends led me to a bonus manuscript. There's also a small possibility that the placement on the uh, collectible menu doesn't actually indicate anything and that I'm crazy. But that can't be the case. Would I have been able to see the guy standing there the whole time? I'll s no, that's just the uh, gazebo. I could be crazy. I'll say one thing. I 
before I like continue forward, I am gonna probably actively just look it up. So I would hate to miss it. When I feel like we should be in a spot where we could easily find it. I mean, it, we could still continue that way. But I, I would think that I should be able to find it normally. So let me look it up real quick. So from what I can tell, this doesn't matter here. Um, got a little spoiled-ish. Uh, you might find it hard to believe. There's a good chance there's an ambush past this point. But uh, it should just be continuing on. So I guess I won't be too focused on how that manuscript thing looks. Is the ambush not in here? Gasp! The ambush! Oh, Lord! He came out of the bush! I'm in the corner! That's me in the corner. That's me in the spotlight. Losing my religion. Twofer. You know, when I read ambush... Thought it would be a bit more extreme. I don't know if I should continue forward. Probably. I didn't look like there was anything else over here. Like, I, I mentioned it before. Like, I mainly really want to make sure I collect manuscript pages because they do offer a lot to the story, I feel. But, if it, if it, I guess, is as cumbersome to try to get as much as I can, then I, I'm gonna just roll with the punches, I suppose. I will still look for them. Well, I guess it's a good thing I dealt with the ambush. going to chill. Eventually the gates will disappear on their own. Yeah, so like this is not an actual order because I had Ma in charge before. Moment, Barry was just glad he had survived the fall. He had been separated from Al and there was no easy way to climb back up. He told himself he'd be okay. Okay in the gloomy forest at night. He would just have to wait for a while for Al to find his way down. Barry turned when he heard the heavy footsteps and saw the movement. The man-shaped shadow lunged at him from the bushes, an axe held high. Barry screamed and threw up his hand. The world exploded. I thought that was saying that Barry screamed and then threw up. I think that would have been funnier. Emil made me Tom do it. Em Emel? I could use some items. Thank you. I don't think there would be anything over here. Just seems kind of weird to have that opening. Because it doesn't really matter, does it? Yeah! Boot. Ow. Very rude. Oh, I was gonna say, I know there was like one more dude. Hold this. Kind of a waste to uh, refill the battery there, I think. And I guess this is why the opening was here. I 
Oh. Good thing I have a flare gun now. For the big boss fight against Hartman. Well, this is definitely a lot of things. Hartman watched as Wake's features slackened. The man was bullheaded, no doubt. Even lying on the bed, he'd almost broken Hartman's nose the second time. But with a little time, he could break Wake down, give him proper direction. Wake was easily the most promising subject he'd had. Well, since Tom, really. Sleep well, Alan, Hartman whispered with a smile. Let me take care of you. He sniffed hard to clear his throbbing nose, swallowed blood, and barely tasted it. What a freak. It's a ghost! We're gonna have a boss fight against Barry? Ow! You're alive! Let's get out of here. Can you open this gate? Maybe! Barry! Uh, well, I slammed it shut when the nasty showed up, and the key fits kinda loose in the lock, so, uh... Oh Lord. Hurry up, Barry. I'm on it. I'm on it. Well, that kind of blew. I shouldn't have waited for the uh other guy to show up. What was all those misses? The game kind of auto aims and uh, shows the wrong target for me. Awesome. Awesome stuff, guys. There's that wrong target again. Also, birds. Also, apparently I can leave. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. The better option might have been to just stall out. We got the cardboard thing still. You're now leaving Bright Falls. Come back soon, sign. We're going to the Anderson farm. I knew you were going to say something like that. You know what? You owe me big time for this. When this is through, if we make it, I don't care what anybody says. I'm done with darkness. You're going to buy me a tanning bed as a gift, and I'm going to live in it. I really like the idea of going to a farm. If we have to walk to a cornfield, I'm going to be very upset. I'm crazy, but that's fine, Mary. <laughs> oh, you got that right, Al. You're barking mad. You are by far the craziest... But maybe that's inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this. It helps. This is happening, Barry. Alice, they never had Alice. She's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake, but she's not dead. Ow. How can you know that? I know, Barry. I can... Al, I... No, listen. I can bring her back. I can find her. There's something special about this place. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. But there's a catch. The dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. That's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Zane before. It happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. We just need to find it. Look out! 
Out. Oh. What do you mean look out? You're driving. Watch out, Barry. There might be an axe man that's gonna make your head explode. Or the world explode. Something weird. Am I still dying because of the battle? gun in the crash. Barry was nowhere to be seen. Well, I'm glad I decided to uh, use up all my ammo there because it Barry! seemed like it wasn't Barry! important to keep it. Oh, man, you're okay! Jeez, it's good to hear your voice! I was trying to get out of the car, but the ground gave way! Man, what a drop! Don't worry, your cutout is fine. Forget I'm glad that. that's okay. Are you okay? I hit some bushes, didn't get a scratch! There's no way you can climb down, though. It's like a sheer wall. Ah, Al, there's something moving down here! Barry, it's a take it! Use a flare, Barry! Woo! Yeah! Barry, are you all right? Is that the world exploding? <laughs> I'm good, Al. I'm great! Guess you never messed with anyone from New York City before, huh? I don't know if you I mean, ever say it like that. Barry, just wait for me, okay? Ow! I'm not staying here! It's suicide! I'm going to the farm! I'm gonna go ahead and secure the area! You can catch up! Don't worry about it! I'm on the case! Now he's Rambo. This would it's turn into a disaster out. if I didn't catch up with Barry. Is that a manuscript way down there? He has the cutout with him. Oh, I love Barry. I at first, like initially, I was like, "Oh, Barry seems like an annoying character," but look at him go. Look at this action star hero, this Rambo. Alan's right; he is Rambo.